Hello, got the 100 and 110 meter hurdle events there because for the women, for some reason they get to do the 100 meters and the men they get to do an extra 10 meters, 110 meters. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head why that is, so if you have any idea, uh, let me know in the comments below. But it means the men have to do one extra hurdle than the men, than the women do there. And in terms of the times, it's pretty similar that way as well too. With the qualification time for the women's being at 12.84 seconds, while for the men's 13.32, so slightly slower for the men's with that extra 10 meter distance. And so those qualifying times aren't necessarily guaranteed, but most likely going to make it as the IAAF ranking system, where you compete on all sorts of different events like the Diamond League there uh, to give yourself highest ranking in the world, and that way you definitely will qualify so it just means a bit more consistency rather than a one shot hit or something like that where you just perform really great on the day there but overall you're pretty inconsistent and fail miserably so who knows there might be a better system better way to go so for the men's event there so far 18 of the 40 have qualified with Jamaica confirming their three athletes Orlando Bennett, Winard Ronald Levy, Omar McLeod, USA having Freddie Sipadine, Grant Holloway and Daniel Roberts. For the women they got 21 of their 40 athletes confirmed. Jamaica USA have got three. They have qualified for both countries but have not named their squad there as well as Australia. And for the last year's limits there for the men, Omar McLeod from Jamaica managing to win the event there. And he's also qualified here, so he could be one to watch out for. Got Orlando Ordega for Spain, also qualifying this year there. And Dimitri Bassacon for France getting the bronze medal. For the women's event, had Brian Wallens for the USA. Nia Atz from the USA and Christy Castellan from the USA, so domination for the USA for the women. And last year's World Championships, a bit more current and up to date, had Grant Holloway from the USA winning it, Sergei Shabikhov for Neutral Athletes Russia, and Pascal Lazadar for France getting the bronze medal there. And last year's Diamond League events there for the men's had Omar McLeod winning it twice for Jamaica, Sergei Shapikov twice for Russia but independent country because of their drug problems in the past there, being part of the neutral athletes now there until that ban, if it does get lifted at all. Orlando Ortegar winning it three times for Spain, Z Wenjan for China, Daniel Roberts for the USA, Pascal Lascard for France as well too. And for the women's, the 100 meter hurdles, Daniel Williams dominating four times for Jamaica, Kendra Harrison winning it twice for the USA, Christiana Clemens one time for the USA as well too there. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this event there and who do you think is going to win the 100 and 110 meter hurdles and if you enjoy the video hit the like button if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe